Welcome to this new video about GPT-4 All UI. In today's video, I'll show you the new installation procedure, the new interface, and some new features compared to previous versions. Let's start by the installation procedure. To install the latest stable version of the application, go to the repository and press the latest release. Depending on your platform, download webwe.bat or webui.sh. Once downloaded, you just run the script and follow the instructions. The script will clone the main repository, clone the personalities repository and recover standard personalities, create a virtual environment, install all required files, then ask you if you want to download the default model. You can answer Y for yes, N for no or B for using browser to download the model which is faster. Here we just type Y and wait. After installing the tool, you should see this, running on http forward slash forward slash localhost 9600. Press control key and click on the link with the mouse to launch the application. This should open your default browser. This UI is optimized for Chrome-based browsers such as Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. As you can see, we now have dark and light modes. When you first open the UI, an untitled discussion is automatically created. You can rename it or delete it using the rename or the delete buttons. To create a new discussion, press plus button and type the discussion name then validate. You will be presented with the welcome message of the personality you are using. The default personality is an English GPT-4 All Assistant. Let's ask it. Hello there, can you tell me what you can do? After a while, you can see an answer. This depends on the model you are using, on the back end you are using and the speed of your processor. You can rank the answer up or down. Notice that this is not binary and you can rank a response to high values or negative values. This is going to be used in the future to prioritize the good discussions while fine tuning. You can also change the output. This is a good option in case you are planning on fine tuning the model using your own discussions. You can copy the answer to clipboard to share it. You can regenerate the answer or ask the chatbot to continue. And of course, you can read the output as audio. This option is not yet available on non-Chrome based browsers. Now let's take a look at the new settings tab. As you can notice, we now have new fields. The first field is the back end. As of now, the GPT 4J and LAMAC are supported. The Hugging Face Transformers back end is under construction. For each back end you select, make sure that you already have at least one model placed in the back end folder in Models folder. As of the rest of the settings, you can refer to my previous video where I dive deep in the description of how this all works. Don't forget to press update parameters for the configuration to be saved. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get updates on this open source tool. Thanks for watching. See ya.